Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to watch Dexter, episode 3. Let's go. Ah, uh, wilderness, snow, ice, privacy. Well, maybe not so much privacy. I've got a search party all over my property looking for someone who's literally under their feet. <laughs> That's true. All because I made one tiny mistake and killed someone. Tiny mistake. Now I need to search for a way to get everyone off my land. So I can be a proper dad for my son. Oh, hey! You wanna wrestle? I'm the assistant coach of the high school team. You should try out. Cool. Y y I'll, I'll think about it. In just one year, he went from a 3.8 down to a 1.2, then back to a 3.0. Why is that? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my stepmom died. Oh, um... That's a very good excuse. Placed in the foster care system. Foster care? That's tough. And where were you? Yeah, why don't you tell them why you left your beloved son? <laughs> Things were complicated, ma'am. My stepmom and I had just moved, and when she died, Jim had no way of reaching me. It's not his fault. Ms. Silvera will be administering Harrison's placement exam. Then we'll know which grade level he's at. And you'll know a little more about your son. Okay. Apparently, Reservation Land Management has footage of Matt Caldwell shooting that deer. Oh. There were cameras out there. Oh. <laughs> I sure didn't. <laughs> what did they even need them for? I mean, we know how deer mate. <laughs> Jim, I need to talk to you. Oh. He's worried. Great. I'm gonna be brought down by three small town cops. This is Sam <laughs> from Land and Wildlife Management. And a zoologist. <laughs> we need you to clear something up for us. <laughs> Happy to. Heat signatures? Pretty cool, huh? Very. Okay, pause it. Does that look like the rifle you sold to Matt? I'm guessing it's a modern outfitter's MC6 with what looks like a very distinctive Leopold scope. It's just like the one I sold Matt. So you're saying that this is my son? Well, this confirms that Matt shot the deer. And gets us no closer His to look. Actually, we did find one more thing. From the next quadrant over, about 20 seconds earlier, Heading for the same spot as the first guy. There's someone else in the woods. We need the angle that shows where they went. There's a blind spot. Blind spot? Why is there a fucking blind spot? The system is set up for animal tracking, not crime surveillance. There's gonna be tons of blind spots. Ah, oh, god damn it. Contact tribal police, call Albany, get CSI out here, and um, go secure the crime scene ASAP. He's too look. And the whole time you had a suspect on your fucking nose? That's the way these things work, Kurt. You could check the hunting licenses. We sell them at the store. I could make a list. Which I won't be on. I was calling off the search after the first day because I found a glove. What was I thinking? What I wanted you to think. If I learned mm -hmm. anything, it's that people don't just disappear. There's always a reason. Well, you're a good cop. You'll find them. Nope. Let's hope not. Are you the CSI from Albany? Wouldn't mind if I watch you work the scene. I'm a big fan of those CSI shows. Hey, I'm coming <laughs> too. It's my son they're looking for. As long as you both stay outside the crime scene and don't disturb the corpus delicta. Corpus de what? It's Latin for body of evidence. Damn it. <laughs> Truth. 
it's human. Someone may have mixed it in with the deer's blood so we'd overlook it. Uh-oh. This guy's good. Yeah? Kerr, we don't even know if that's Matt's blood, and even if it is, he could have cut himself. People cut themselves dressing animals all the time. Damien, what do you think happened? Come on, Damien. Fail me now. He is good. What I'm saying is somebody committed an attack, then tried to cover it up. We're looking at foul play. I've gotten rusty in my abstinence. It's about Harrison. We need you to come down to the school. Already? Harrison scored higher than any student has ever scored on the school placement exam. Oh. Tess left the room for 15 minutes. And when she came back, he was done. The test was easy. The test was easy. Some of the questions on this test are for advanced placement students. College level. I believe while Tess was gone, Harrison used his cell phone to look up answers. I did not. I'm happy to proctor the exam again. There you go. You take it again. No phones. I did not cheat. Then you'll prove it. Well, thanks for having my back. Like always. At this point, just hoping it's not too late. I need to post their body, man. You have to move Matt's body. Those dogs are gonna walk a straight line from the crime scene to your fucking fire pit. I know. It was a one-time slip-up. It doesn't change who I am. Who is that exactly? Stop. For what? You gonna kill me? Again? Or are other people gonna die? Because that's what always happens, right? Right? Not this time, no. All yours. Just so you know, we took the test, got a higher score than the first time. That's great. Congrats. His mind is in other things. This is Kurt. It's Chief Bishop. Apologies for calling so late. Good news or bad? Bad. I'm afraid it's a match. The blood we found is almost certainly Matt's. My guess is that the other person out there in the woods saw Matt shoot the deer and wasn't too happy about it. Well, at least now you're starting to sound like a real cop. <laughs> with all due respect, I have been running this search with zero state funding. At the crack of dawn, I'll have 60 volunteers as far out as Clark Mountains. The next day, we will cover the entire quarry. The day after that, we will canvas the caves. We will not stop until we find your son. I know you're breathing. And I Just call me when you have an actual lead. At least he knows what to do, né? First the glove, now the scent. One plus one equals... Matt. I thought she was dead already. Oh, he wants to hunt her. Sorry, but bye bye. Oh, he heard prey around here. Hunters get up way too early. Ooh. I gotta get to school. Uh, you gonna drive me or should I walk? Why not? Not like it's been a long night or anything. 
<laughs> Great. Police dogs. I hope they have as much fun running around the woods as I did last night. <laughs> you know, I heard what happened and I just had to come help. Uh, fresh eyes and legs are always welcome. It's just so tragic. You know, hometown hunk, larger than life personality. Are you a friend of Matt's? Nope. Just a citizen activist. Yeah, right. Hey, is it cool if I tag along? Maybe search with you? Uh, you should check with Sergeant Logan. He's handling the volunteer assignments. Hot cop. You can totally get it. Thank you. You're late. Too shallow. Some fisherman's liable to catch a piece of Matt. I know. <laughs> Little Fargo, don't you think? <laughs> what the shit do you mean long term? Are you planning on fucking killing again? All I want is everyone off my property, a good night's sleep, and a chance to make things right with Harrison. It's one and done. And I'm just a dad. Right. Harrison! Caitlin's not real. What? Your online girlfriend. She's not real. Zach's been catfishing you. We're good. Painless, huh? Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> so, Matt, once again, what to do with you? The old iron mine. It's remote, plenty big, filled with tunnels. Goldilocks. I think it's just right. Oh. <laughs> Ethan strikes back. You don't let me get away with that. You think you're fucking funny, you small dick anime virgin? Leave Ethan alone. Or I do this to you every single fucking day. <laughs> What? Hey guys. What's going on? Just just chilling. Need a ride? Oh, by the way. Coach Logan said I made the wrestling team. I'll see you guys on the mat. It's gonna be fun. Where'd you learn how to do that anyway? Looks like some real UFC shit. You pick up a few things in foster homes. Jack will be fine. Why, you freaked out? I think she kind of like. What are you going to do with it? Once Andre's mom no longer needs it for evidence, I'll call sanitation to dispose of the carcass. I cannot believe they're going to treat this amazing creature like... Roadkill. We should do something before they do. Nice. A three-mile hike up to the iron mine. Because I just don't get out enough. Wait, An Angela's not. The woman who gave birth to me abandoned me right after I was born. So, Angela is my mom. I wasn't sure if she knew. Well, you know how to do this shit? My mom's paranoid about everything. Made me learn how to change a tire as soon as I got my learner's permit. <laughs> Everything all right? Radiator. Oh. Do you need a ride someplace? Is he the serial killer? Uh -huh. Any luck? The minute I mentioned your mom's name, Jerry was halfway to his truck.
was that about? Trust Edward Olsen being a billionaire. Also a serial killer. No. Mine's not the body I'm looking to hide. I miss this. The quiet, calm, solitude. Hey, you, what's up? Just seeing if you want to come over for dinner tonight. Tonight? Oh, I'm not sure I'm up for it. I'm kind of exhausted. Rain check? I know. I'm exhausted too. You think I feel like cooking for Audrey and Harrison? Harrison? Yeah. Audrey invited him over. <laughs> if you don't want to come, it's okay. No, I'd love to come. I'll come. I've always fantasized about hurting Zach like that. But you actually did it. Oh, fuck those guys. They just think they're hard because they hunt and shit. They don't know anything about real violence. I got a bunch of drawings of those assholes. You wanna see? Thrilling. Oh. He'd see his blood. What do you like the punisher or something? They'd be fucking scared of me if I was, huh? Fucking petrified. What do you mean you saw? On the my fucking kill Instagram. Can you believe Molly Park is in Iron Lake? Who's Molly Park? Ah, it's dead girl. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Wait, let me see that again. She was in the store today. She was just loading up on winter gear. I guess she's sticking around for a while. Wait, so... So she's a podcaster? It's only like the most popular true crime podcast out there. I mean, she has like a million followers on Instagram. You're into true crime? It's murder, but it's funny. I'll text you my top five. Can I do a bonfire? Who'd have thought I would find this? A family in Iron Lake. A family that I very nearly lost because of an impulsive kill. I don't want to lose this. Drive his truck and... All that's left is to find a spot to move the body. What? You could help us move the deer's body, right? Your, your truck bed's big enough? Yeah, should be. Sounds like a plan. Great, because I already told them you'd be doing it tonight. <laughs> I should have stood up for you. Yeah? At school yesterday. I was wrong. Still learning how to be a father. From now on, this is me on your side. Thanks, Dad. Dad? Wow. My new favorite word. <laughs> Finally. Rid of Matt's body for good. Yeah, right. I sure believe it. But I don't know. What if it's not the killing that got me in trouble? What if it's the not killing? That does not look like a grieving father. What's wrong with this picture? He's drunk. Yeah, well, I did more than hear hear him. We, we we FaceTime, FaceTime. I actually saw 
face of the son that I thought I had lost. That's unbelievable. I know, right? Hey, come on, why don't you let me give you a ride home? Uh, I insist. Matt's ashes. I bet this is the closest Matt and Kurt have ever been. Hey, my Maddie's alive! Can you believe it? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> And why would he lie? Good question. Well, that was my reaction to Dexter episode 3. I hope you all like it. Love and peace to us all. See you next time. Bye bye.